Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, today, I'm going to be speaking on a uh, current event regarding uh, these uh, children from other countries uh, actually crossing through the actual uh, border. The actual, not as, not as traditional as it used to be regarding the actual the smuggling tactics. Uh, when I was tasked to be down there, uh, it, it was a different kind of element. It was a different game plan where the parents traditionally will be crossed first, then the actual child. For the fact that it is easier to cross a child than an adult, so they would be left in with a trusted relative uh, to their native country until they can actually uh, fund or actually uh, smuggle the actual child by different means. Uh, I've actually spoken on this one on OG Shadow's uh, YouTube page, uh, how they're smuggled in, and it's actually pretty interesting. Take a, you should guys take a look at that video too. Uh, because of the fact that these are actual minors coming in, it just it doesn't make sense on a smuggling actual tactic. The first time I came across one of these actual uh, situations was out actually in the hills in the heavy and rough terrain. I was surprised that uh, a smuggler actually thought of and more of actually executing this type of actually uh, smuggle because children are going to be children. They're not going to be as uh, long-winded. They're not going to be as uh, able-bodied to actually adapt to the actual terrain. There are some times where you have to be totally silent and a child is going to be naturally scared, naturally uh, physically and uh, vocally out. I mean, a kid's going to be a kid. And you can only hold somebody's mouth, and, and, and that's the reality of it. You you look it up in different movies that you see that scene when the baby is crying, and and they're about to get caught in a trailer, in a, in a, in a semi trailer. And you see that the actual parent is actually trying to muffle the, the, the child's mouth, and you, we all know what the end result of that would be. And so, for even the slowest consider bringing a child over, that is just beyond my comprehension. For the fact that it. It's rough terrain. It's a rough three days sometimes. And the first time I actually saw that, um, it was only one time, actually. One time I actually witnessed that, and it was a 10-year The child was younger than 10 years old with both parents. That's also uh, not common. Usually they send one for the fact that the other one is able to receive a child at any point either point A or point B, meaning the U.S. or Mexico. That right there in itself is also very, very unique, I should say. And when we would actually uh, come across this actual situation, we would actually uh, make it a priority that they would actually go be in the first actual ride down to a port, just so we would not actually... Uh, just sit behind people. We just actually uh, break someone off and take them straight to a nearest port and uh, and uh, that'd be their actual exit out of the country. And uh, and if uh, if you ever hear of these, uh, if, I guess, FEMA camp for uh, some kind of uh, like uh, encampment where there's housing for individuals, uh, families, uh, don't look at it as a negative way. Don't look at it as a prison. The wire is there to keep elements out. That's what they're there for. They're not to keep people in. That's also another thing that, that uh, the news has not actually mentioned. All these houses that are actually supplied by these privatized prison companies. Uh, they, that wire is there to keep out, not to not to actually keep people inside. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, it's, 
it's very, very manipulated, um, all the information that actually goes out. And, it, and it's sad because it affects humans and the way it's described, the way it's presented, it's, a, uh, it's on a political actual platform. And uh, immigration is very, very confusing. Laws are very, very vague and they are very uh, actual, uh, they're actually amended quite often. One case can actually change a whole platform of people from either deportation or staying here. So always keep that in mind that the, the immigration law applies to everybody in a different way. So never give up. Hire a lawyer. That's the only way you're ever going to be able to be successful in um, staying in the country if you are actually up for a deportation. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you later.